Red Spatula here, testing out some bombing runs. This might be helpful for some of you too that are learning. I recommend starting up your own uh, single player skirmish with an uh, inactive AI. So I've made a few uh, bombers, I'm not going to use them all at once. I would usually start out with at least five bombers, maybe ten would be better though. Um, I created some fake bases here to show as an example, but uh, if you were going to go bomb, uh, you would first want to go scout them, which I made a few scouts here. You can just drag, shift and drag here so they can go scout enemy bases. Obviously we can see these because they're my own bases, but you would need to get enemy sight first. So you go like this, see if there's any anti-air, scale them out. And you only want to do this a few seconds before your bomb run. Then we'll uh, take a few bombers here. Let's do five. Now I see so many people, including myself, in my own videos, doing uh, just hitting A and doing a bomb run like this. And they all bomb this same exact area. Now you don't really want that. You want to take out a whole enemy base by um, holding control A and setting, uh, dragging the circle and then they will bomb evenly around that um, circle. So if you don't have enough bombers, it'll be way more spread out. So about this size for five bombers. Hold on. Here, I'll show you an example. So it looks like they're all going to hit here, but they're going to spread out between the circle. This is control A. So that's how you want to bomb them. For some reason you can't set multiple area attacks like this, because it'll keep going back to the same circle. You can for regular attacks, which I'll show you later. So you don't want them to uh, keep turning back, because then they're going to get shot down a lot easier. You just want to bomb run one thing after the other after the other. So you will have to manually control them. So do control A. As soon as you hear them going off, do another control A. Then another control A. You just want to keep going down the path. Obviously I'm pretending this is a base right now. I'm going to do it on on these bases right now. So I've set the scouts out. I already know where everything is. The enemy team hasn't made too much anti-air. That's why I advise at least like 10 bombers. Because you're probably going to lose some. So you want to just keep hitting in, the, like, in a straight path. You don't want the bombers to like rotate and keep coming back. And bomb runs usually only work once before the enemy team starts massively building anti-air to stop you. It doesn't take much anti-air to stop a bomb run. So let's try this out. Front line. And then we're going to attack here, but I can't set it until they've released the bombs. I don't know why you can't target multiple things at once on area attacks. And you want to go after energy um, metal converters first because they chain react more. These circles are almost a little bit too big. So if I wanted to take out like this group here, I could do a tiny little area boom if I wanted to go for these energy converters because you want to target those first because they're the most important see it's much better making a small circle like that if you only have a few bombers. If you have like 30 or 20 bombers or something, then you can do a larger target. That's why you have to send out scouts first. It's like this, you can't do this because they'll just keep circling back into the first area attack. You can only queue up regular attacks like uh, with this A, like, like this. Oh wait, you have to hold shift and A. They'll do that, but they will not work for area attacks. I don't know why. 
now that I'm looking at it though, it's pretty close to an area attack anyway. I'd spread that out a little bit more because it takes time for them to recharge their bombs. So, H, like this, and like this, and like this. That should work. So it's pretty effective for hitting a line because it's just like that length right there in a, in a row. See? But area attacks are better for like, I don't know, in a circling amount of buildings. So if you want to manually control them, have that one area and then get another area re ready. Control A, then release their bombs, then let go. Control A, left click. I haven't let go of left click yet. So as soon as they drop these bombs, or majority of them do, then I'll let go and then I'll go to the next area. But if you're too busy, you can just do a regular attack. Shift, shift and A and do this. Because you're macroing a lot in this game. I almost like uh, the regular attack better. Just because you can queue it up. So you want to always spread out your fighters because they have an explosion radius. If I hit uh, space and X, you can see if one blows up it's going to wound the other. So if it gets hit by anti-air and it explodes it's going to chain react all your bombers. So it's good to spread them out like this. Shift A, uh, shift right click drag. Then I'm going to hit Y to pause them for a sec. Shift, right click and drag, then A, no, I mean shift A, right click and drag. I'm just pretending these are lines I want to bomb. You send out scouts first to see where you want to bomb. And then you hit Y again and they'll go complete the order. So now if you're too busy building and stuff, they'll just go complete those orders. And then they'll come back to base. So now you can just macro and do all your other stuff while they go do their job. If you want to see where they're bombing again, just hover over them. Sometimes they come back around on areas because you have too many targets for the amount of bombers you have. So if you want to make sure they keep going one to the other, just make a smaller line, smaller attack line. Bomb runs are usually only effective for a little bit because they just build a couple anti-air and it will stop all your bombers. It's good at the beginning. These are only tier 1 bombers too. Tier 2 bombers do a lot more damage. That's how you queue up bombers. Let me know if you like this type of video or ways for me to improve. I'll leave a like. Maybe one day I'll earn your subscription. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.